here's a little insight into the blade to grade as you can see this sensor up here normal dipper sensor is half that size so this is a double size dipper sensor and also laser receiver down there um, you've also got a sensor inside the blade arm you can go anywhere inside outside generally get it high up out of the way um, and I've got my laser spinning over there on the toolbox okay so if we jump into the cab press the screen see a little dozer symbol so you press the dozer select level single or dual slope so in this case we'll just do a level slope oh, sorry level next and it asks you to initialize your first laser catch so this is you can either dial the laser height in or you can take it from the reference on your bucket so initialize laser two ways to use it like you normally would when you're using the bucket to grade this one's from the reference or that's laser height so if you know the laser height you can just punch it in there and then you haven't got a touch with your bucket in this case we're going to go with a reference on the floor so our reference is going to be our concrete I'm not going to dig any deeper so a zero tick then you just raise the arm up to get a laser catch now count down three two one and now we're referenced off of my laser on the toolbox over there. Select next. It tells you to align the cab with the slew angle in relation to your blade. So that's the way you're going to be grading. Next. And then it asks you to find a comfortable slew angle where you can both grade and see where you're going and to catch your laser at the same time. And this little indication shows you where your laser is. So if I boom up, you'll see it drop down towards the bottom. Okay, save that cab angle, next, and that's it, you're ready to go. So as you're grading along, use this window to maintain the height, so you can boom up or down to maintain that catch, and then you use your blade lever to get grade. So, up, down. When you reach the end of the run, you press this initial angle slew it back in line with the tracks next and then again in a position where you can catch both see where you're going and catch the laser and the way you go you can track back the other way okay hope that helps